Good evening, Hackology, and welcome to another episode. I'd just like to say, woohoo! 1,000 subscribers, thank you, and you guys absolutely rock. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have a new camera coming soon for the show. What are we looking at in tonight's episode? Well, tonight's episode, we're going to be looking at what is IRC, uh, various different IRC clients, um, how to join an IRC network and how to join a channel, how to register your nickname, perform various different actions whilst you're on the server, and um, a few tips and tricks to make your IRC life easy. Okay, so what is IRC? So after consulting Google and uh, Google pointing me to Wiki, I can safely tell you that IRC is Internet Relay Chat. Uh, it's a protocol for real-time internet text messaging or synchronous conferencing. It's designed mainly for group com communication <coughs> in discussion forums called channels. Also one-to-one -one communication via private message as well as chat and data transfer, including file sharing. IRC was created in 1988. The client software is available for every major platform that's capable of internet access. IRC was created by a Finnish dude called Jarko. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his second name because I can't. Um, he's from Finland in August 1988 to replace a program called MUT, Multi User Talk, on uh, a BBS called ULA box in Finland. Um, so Jarko found inspiration in a chat system known as Bitnet Relay, which operated on Bitnet. Okay, so what client to use? Well, it doesn't matter what operating system you're running, there is going to be a IRC client um, freely available or uh, pretty cheaply available for you to run. And so let's let's just take a look. On Windows we have XChatWDK, which is free and open source. Uh, we have XChat for Linux. We also have IRSSI, which is a command line version of um, an IRC client. Um, for the Mac, we have Colloquy, which is um, also available for the iPhone. Uh, we have AnChat for Android, uh, IRC7 for the Windows phone, and also LimeChat on the iPhone. Um, but I'm not 100% sure whether the the iPhone and Mac software is free. Um, I know that all the other software um, is free and open source. And in this video, we're going to be concentrating on Linux and I'll be demonstrating everything using XChat. Don't worry, all the commands are the same. So if you don't run Linux, as long as you have a client, you should be able to follow along. Firstly, you'll need to download and install the client. If you're running Debian, it's usually available in the default repositories. Um, so you can either grab it from the software center or you can just straight from the command line sudo app get install xchat. Okay, so I'm going to add a new network and I'm going to call this one setfo. Uh, same as the other one, I'm just going to set it all back up again. Show you guys, so we click on edit. irc.sec.org. Always drag 7000 we're going to be using SSL with this. So connected the selected server only, auto connect to this network on startup, use SSL for all servers on this network and accept invalid SSL certificates. In your favourite channels, you'll want to put a favourite channel, so we're going to put pound hackology here. And um, when you register, this was where you would put your NIC server password to save you having to identify with the server every time you log in. So, let's just check the settings. Everything seems fine there. Close. And make sure that you've got your nickname set here. So, I'm going to log in as T, which is my normal username. Once you've completed all the settings and filled in all the details of the server, just click Connect. And it should connect you. And as you can see, it's jumped to my second preferential username, which is T with the underscore. Forward stroke list will display a list of all the channels that are running on the server and then you can do a forward stroke J shorthand for join and let's just join the set for chat room and press enter and we can see all the users on the right hand side of the screen and the current server you're connected to on the left hand side of the screen and at the bottom we've got the text entry tool 
uh, where we can type messages to uh, the room, or we could join another. So we could say downtown ecology, which we're already a member of, and then we can issue an action by typing forward stroke me. Um, says hello. So T says hello. And um, that's basically it for the basics. Okay, so you've learned how to join a server, talk to the other users, and set up XChat. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the other commands that you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, but these are the basic ones that you'll want to get you started. So you can use forward stroke attach or forward stroke server, followed by the server and the port that you would like to join on. You can run forward stroke nick and then the nickname that you would like to set your nickname to, and this is to set your nickname. Uh, to join a channel you can use the forward stroke join command or you can just use forward stroke J followed by the pound symbol and the channel that you'd like to join. You can use the forward stroke MSG command followed by the user's username and the message that you'd like to send. This is used for private messaging other users. You can use who is to display information about a certain user on the server. So you could say who is T. Forward stroke clear or forward stroke clear all clears the channel's text or clears all open channel's text. Forward stroke away sets an away message. And if you return to your PC, just type forward stroke away again to return from the away mode and you can also leave a message by typing forward stroke away and the message. So forward stroke me sends an action to the active channel so me loves t would print t loves t to the channel and then when you're done and you're finished chatting with everybody you can type forward stroke quit which will disconnect you from the current IRC server. It's also important to register your nickname to stop anybody impersonating you or hijacking your nickname um, so to do this you're going to need to type forward stroke msg and nick serve register the password that you wish to use and then your email address and to identify with the server you can do this in the either xchat settings menu by putting your password in there or typing forward stroke msg space nick serve space identify and your password and lastly uh, have fun and be nice to the people that you meet A big thank you to dd3 and sitfo for providing hackology with its own channel um, come and join the community and get involved uh, you'll benefit a lot more uh, by talking to a lot of other people that are into the same kind of stuff as you um, rather than just googling and, and being a keyboard warrior by yourself so um, Hackology will be back really soon and as always here fun hacking comrades <laughs>